Hello everyone, Mocha Bear here. Welcome back to Mocha Bear's Hobby Den. Today we have a Kickstarter project unboxing video. Shall we get started? So the project we'll be unboxing is the 5e Magic Item Cards by Eventier Games. I did the Kickstarter promotional video for that, which you will see right here on the left side of the screen. And we are going to do an unboxing with my new setup. Hopefully it looks decent. We'll find out. Alright, so here is the package. We are going to figure it out. Here we are. So, what we have right here, okay, so I went with the premium bundle. So we've got a uh, 5e Magic Item Cards Tier 1 Treasure Horde Booster. Ooh, we have some loose cards in here as well. And then, ooh, we've got this big hefty box in here. Oh, there's something in the bottom. Hey! Spell scroll tables. Spell level table, D10. Oh, that's awesome. And then it gives you the options to roll for. What's on the back? Random treasure. Ooh. That's awesome. So we'll set that there. All right, that's everything in the packaged box. Got the custom storage design, or custom design storage box, which is what I'm opening right now. Okay. Material from the system reference document 5.1. A set of 300 card handouts for 5e's most iconic magic items, including full descriptions and colorful illustrations. Uh, it is supposed to come with uh, 300 cards, and then I'm also supposed to get a deck of many things, 22 digital and printed cards, so they could potentially be in here. Uh, deck of illusions which is 34 digital and printed cards, which should hopefully also be in here. Uh, deck of extras, so 44 digital and printed cards. And we got, so this is the custom design box. I also opted for the treasure hoard booster set. So there's supposed to be three packs. I've got one pack here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I don't think I did those. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think I, I added those on. I think those were just things that uh, I could have selected. Okay, yeah, so that's everything that's supposed to be in there. Um, and then I guess I think these were uh, either early, like getting there early, or they were just stretch goals that were unlocked. So we are going to move this out the way. You know what? I forgot to leave uh, set up my other uh, light, so my face is going to be choppy. Here we go. My opening tool, my box opening tool. Do not, kids, do not mess with sharp tools without parental supervision and recommend that you let them do it. All right. Trying to maneuver around with the light situation that I have here. I do like the texture of the box. go oh 
they are uh, set up in different segments. Okay. So we've got some blank cards right here. And we've got a red dragon on the back of this. That's interesting. And then, ah, here's the Deck of Illusions. Uh, your mind, so we've got balance. Let me get that there for you. Please forgive me, this is my first time working with an overhead camera, and it's not in the exact position I would like it. I, I need to get an additional uh, desk attachment, so my arm that has my camera on it can attach to that and have a better proper overhead angle because you're here on top of my monitor I want you over here but higher it's facing dead center but balance your mind suffers a wrenching alteration causing your alignment to change lawful becomes chaotic good becomes evil and vice versa if you are true neutral or unaligned this card has no effect on you okay that's pretty cool so we have those there Next up is, okay, yeah, so here's the items. Wonders item, Wings of Flying. I gotta remember. There we go. Please bear with me again. Eventually, I will get the hang of this setup. Then we've got the Staff of Charming. Sphere of Annihilation. And Potion of Water Breathing. Okay. Potion of Speed. And Mantle of Spell Resistance. this up here a bit so you can see it better. The Mace of Terror and Folding Boat. Flame Tongue and your Sword and Cloak of Displacement. And lastly, Cloak of Arachnida and Adamantine Armor. So I'm guessing that this is the uh, Deck of Many Things. So we will go ahead and check that out. Let me grab my smaller opening tool. That is awesome that there's a blank card in here. All right, well actually, let me put these back in. Actually, I'll leave this one out because I can check that out, but yeah. So we're gonna check this out. Red Dragon. Okay. Oh, this is Deck of Illusions. Con oh, goodness. So we have more items here. Okay, so we have one blank card. We have a weapon plus two. There we go. Okay, yep, so let me show you that. So it shows the information right there. But then you flip it over, and it actually has the information. That's really nice. I like that. We've got a weapon plus one for any. Weapon plus one, any. Spell scroll ninth, eighth, seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, first. Another first cantrip. So we got two spell scroll first. Okay. Uh, shield plus two, shield plus one. Potion of resistance, resistance, resistance. Heroism. Superior healing, superior healing. That's awesome. Greater healing, greater healing, greater healing. Potion of healing, potion of healing, potion of healing. Good. It gave you four potions of healing. Potion of growth, climbing, climbing. Animal friendship, the cloak of protection. Bag of holding. Sorry, I'm going a little too fast here. I'm loving the artwork on here. I've said it multiple times. Oh, good. We've got two bags of holding. If you've been following me long enough, you know that I am a big, big, big fan of artwork. Uh, armor of resistance. Armor plus two. Armor plus one. Ammunition plus two. Ammunition plus one. Ammunition plus one. Okay, so... 
we are into the deck of illusions. So we've got you, the deck's owner. That's interesting. You, the deck's owner. Veteran. Troll. Succubus, Incubus, and Red Dragon. Okay. I don't quite follow the full thing for that. The Deck of Illusions. I mean, I've never really dealt with it before. There you are. Still trying to get used to this camera setup. Alright, so. Here we go. Okay. So here's the rest of the deck of illusions. I love the art for this. That is very beautiful. I love the colors. I love the designs, the patterns. Uh, we will look at it from here. Archmage and Mage Apprentice. Assassin. Ooh. I love that. That's the um, artwork from Heretic's Guide to Devotion and Divinity. There we go. That's the artwork of the Assassin's subclass from that book. That's awesome. Or the uh, Rogue's subclass. Goodness. Bandit Captain and three bandits. Okay. Beholder. Berserker. Bugbear. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Beastman from uh, He-Man. I think that was who it was, Beastman. Uh, Cloud Giant. Druid. I am loving this art. Etten, Fire Giant, Frost Giant, Anole, Goblin, Goblin, Hill Giant. Okay. So, ooh, what's that? Iron Golem. Nice. Alright, so, we'll put that aside. And look at this. The deck of many things. That is gorgeous how they have that designed. I don't, I think this is everything here. Uh... Let me double check. Uh, deck of many things, 22. So, 2, 3, 4. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so we got 22. Uh, we're going to draw a card from the deck of many things. Oh, the void. This black card spells disaster. Your soul is drawn from your body and contained in an object in a place of the GM's choice. One or more powerful beings guard the place. While your soul is trapped in this way, your body's incapacitated. A wish spell can't restore your soul, but the spell reveals the location of the object that holds it. You draw no more cards. That is awesome! So I'm going to set that down. What's the next one? Ooh, Vizier. At any time you choose within one within one year of drawing this card, you can ask a question in meditation and mentally receive a truthful answer to the que that question. Besides information, the answer helps you solve a puzzling problem or other dilemma. In other words, the knowledge comes with wisdom on how to apply it. That is sick. Throne. Right, let me bring that up so you can see it. Goodness. There we go. Look at the artwork. This is gorgeous. Even to your games. You know what? I'm just going to flip it this way. We've already seen the balance. So we'll pick it back up this way. So balance. Comet. Uh, we'll do it this way. There we go. Don John. Uriel, this card's Medusa-like visage curses you. You take a negative two penalty on saving throws while cursed in this way. Only a god or the magic of the fates card can end this curse. Yo. We'll look at two more. There's the fates card. And then flames. Powerful devil becomes your enemy. The devil seeks your ruin and plagues your life, savoring your suffering before attempting to slay you. This enemy lasts until either you or the devil dies. Enmity. Yo, I'm loving this. Okay, we will definitely have to uh, 
Let's set this up. There we go. We will definitely have to take a look into that all um, much more in a later video. Let me set this back. There we go. And we've got these items here. Okay, we want. I want to take a look at the artwork on these. Oh, it looks like there's a tab to pull, but that I'm not going to risk damaging those cards trying to scrape it like that. flying and it's got the information right there on the back of it and it has the art on both sides the winged boots the wind fan oh that's really nice well of many worlds I don't remember that item All right. this fine black cloth soft as silk is folded up to the dimensions of a, hand a handkerchief it unfolds into a circular sheet six feet in diameter. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's pretty much, it's a black hole. All right. Uh, sadly, it doesn't have the picture on the back of that, but that's okay. Uh, weapon plus three. Goodness. Weapon plus two. Weapon plus one. Wand of Wonder. Ooh. so much information on there the wand of web wand of war mage or one of the war mage plus three it looked like a unicorn's horn at first goodness wand of secrets there we go and wand of polymorph okay that is really cool. Wand of Fireball, Wand of Enemy Detection, Talisman of the Sphere, Sword of Sharpness, Sword of Wounding, Sword of Life Stealing, the Sunblade. All right. That is cool. Let me get these put into here. They're upside down in there. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, so we have that. We have these the Dragon Scepter, the Sojourner's Flute, and Smothering Cape. But let's take a look at. Oh, I was trying to figure out the name of it earlier. I have the cards from Devotion and Divinity right here still. Right here on my desk. Alright, so I'm going to open this. to open this so I can still use it for the cards for now. But that's not looking like it's going to happen. Oh, there we go. We're good. All you ASMR fans. Alright. Ooh, Ring of Swimming. Yo! That is awesome. Eyes of Manatee Seeing. Minute Seeing. Goodness, Manatee Seeing. I'm reading this at an angle, so please forgive me. Potion of Fire Giant Strength. Eyes of the Eagle. Oh, that is a nice looking mask. Potion of Poison. Okay. And it's got the image on the back there. So I'd flip. I guess it was flipped for some reason. Potion. There's the. But yeah. Okay, well that is pretty cool, very useful. We'll definitely be trying to take advantage of those. I need to get binders for all of my spell and magic item cards. Uh, as of right now that I'm aware of, I have all of the spell cards and magic item cards from Wizards of the Coast. 
I have a bunch more. Oh, and monster cards. Um, I have a bunch more of magic items, spells, and monster cards from Cobalt Press, uh, even to your games. I also have uh, monster cards from Dren Productions Games uh, from their second project, I believe. Um, but it was from their first project, uh, Architects of the Deep. So I need to get a lot, a lot of binders for each thing. I need to get one dedicate, ones dedicated to spell cards from each company, uh, ones for magic items from each company, monster cards from each company. So that's something that I'm going to be working on throughout the next couple years, most likely a couple years. Um, we'll see what happens. But yes, even to your games, thank you. These cards exceeded my expectations. Uh, like I said before, uh, Wizards of the Coast has these cards, but not all of them have artwork. And I am a fanatic for artwork. I'm facing the wrong camera this whole time. My apologies. <laughs> I have, I, I just set up my, oh my god. I apologize. I'm facing the wrong camera this whole time. But even to your games. <laughs> Thank you so much for this project. I am a big fan of the artwork. Big fan of the quality of these cards. The quality of the box. I'm excited and looking forward to see what you have for us in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there before I can continue to get carried on. So please take care of yourselves as always. And until next time, hobby on.